What's good, y'all? Today I'm gonna demonstrate a mid drop fade, a mid drop skin fade. Come over with a hard part, and it's gonna be pressure on my man Armando, man. Y'all tap in. First thing first, what I'm doing is creating my first guideline, my ball guideline. I'm making sure that I um, create somewhat of a curve to be able to drop that in. And I'm making sure that I can leave a little bit of a C cup so that it's a mid drop fade. Um, I'm going in with a five bot so that way I can uh, get through both real easy, nice and easy. Okay, so now I went and got the two detachable. What I'm doing is just debulking. I'm not taking it right off the head. I'm kind of putting it right at the parietal ridge. I just want to have a guideline so I can know where to stop my fade at. That's what I'm doing with this two. And um, I'm just going to also make that with the same. I had to say what well to my dude, Camille. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, that's basically what I'm doing here. I am just setting a second line what up john <laughs> a second line of demarcate uh demarcation and uh, what i'm doing here is just setting up a guideline so i know that hey this is where i'm going to stop my fade and start using my shears Okay, so now I'm switching over to my 5i, I mean, no, my uh, OA, which is basically an open clipper, and I'm setting my first, you know, my first line of foundation from open to close. I like to set it in, I like to set most of my guidelines in with uh, with uh, blades, as they just give me a nice, true, true, all even cut. No lever play, just a nice, true blade to what size it is. So this is my OA, I'm setting up my foundation here, open to close, let's go. Okay, now it's lever plate time. I'm going in with my uh, 
my half guard closed. I'm going right underneath my my um two uh, my uh two blade line where I said that okay this is where I'm gonna stop my fade uh when I go to the shears so that I keep his parado rays dark. Now I'm coming in with my one and a half and, and I'm planning on fading down with this. So I started I started with a closed one and a half um but I'm gonna go up and work my way um to a full open half. Um, I just like to set that first line to help me see better with a close. So I'm going to be rocking it from close up to open and then working my way down to one and then a half and then eventually open, uh, open to close down to skin. Okay, now I'm going in with that one. Here come the one. Um, I got it open. I'm coming right underneath my one and a half. I'm working it down now, y'all. I'm working it down to the skin. So this is one. This is one open. And then I just lever play it all the way down to a close. After I get past uh, the one close, the one guard close, of course I'm going down to a half open to close. Okay, here we go. I'm finally going to that uh, half guard, and I'm doing the same method here. I'm doing, I'm doing the open all the way down to a close, even with the half guard. Open, halfway open, close. Okay, now I'm doing that foundation. This is a no guard, open, halfway open, then close. After that, I should have a nice full blend um, going from skin all the way up to a two blade, basically a two guard as well. Before the haircut is fully over with, I'll go and do some more detail work.
Okay, now I'm going to go to the top of the hair. I'm putting some hair tonic on there, massaging it into the scalp. This just helps with dandruff and it hydrates the hair a little bit. Um, so, yep, that's what I'm doing here. Um, after this, I grab my shears and I basically do finger length. I'm also gonna apply a little sea salt spray. My client doesn't like to have actual products in his hair, so I went with this kind of like water-based sea salt spray. It'll help texture, and when I'm done, it'll just help set the hair in uh, like I want to, so that it's still neat without the pomades or clays that I usually use. Here I'm just combing the hair in place, getting it ready to be cut. Um, once I put the water bottle down, I grab my shears and I just do finger length. Um, finger length is different depending on the size of the barber's fingers, but um, usually with his haircut, I ended up I usually end up at a true like inch and a quarter, sometimes an inch and a half. But um, I would like to say more of an inch and a quarter this time around. Um, I'm sectioning the part. I don't know why I do this before I cut, but uh, just because I'm going to mess it up anyway. But I just like to make sure everything is neat and it just helped me envision how I want it at the end.
okay so after this point this is where i'm gonna do um i'm about to start right now i'm about to do my cross check just making sure i get this hair as even as possible the better you the more even you get the hair especially when you're working with shears and hair up top especially short sheer haircuts man um it's important to cross check because dude uh just the way it's gonna lay you know what i'm saying it's gonna grow in fire it's gonna lay fire bro just do that cross check it don't take nothing but an extra three minutes you know what i'm saying just to make sure you did it as best as possible you know what i'm saying Okay, here comes my favorite part of a comb over, the hard part. You know, you don't need to do this with, uh, this is totally optional. A natural one look good, a hard part even look, you know, it look good as well. It just depends all on the client. But y'all see, I took my time and I really tried to get that section as perfect as possible because once you go in, you you know what I'm saying? You go in, you go in, in you know? <laughs> um, but yep so i started i started with i usually my first initial um entry on a hard part i like to use a thinner blade um here i'm using the uh stylecraft evo these are fire these are really fire the babblets are really good too um my style my uh evos they don't hit super hard so i have to really like carve it in which when it comes to a hard part i like that i want to have complete control i want to make sure the hard part's not too thick and um i'd rather work the hard part than just you know what i'm saying have some quick hitters z z z and then make a mistake i've done that in the past and um these evos just help me help me just not do that not make mistakes you know um and and if, and if i do there's still room to fix it um after this though i do come in with my slim lines those are my true hitters just pristining out that uh hard part and make sure it's as crispy as possible before i just um you know call it like okay that's cool
now that I got that hard part how I like it, it's time to go ahead and put this lineup in. Um, I take my time on the lineup, you know. I um I don't do this with every client um that has a comb over. For the most part, I only hit the vertical bars and the C cups. Uh the front could be natural, you know what I'm saying? It's it's supposed to be. Um but yep, I'm about to take my time and really just get my man uh Armando as crispy as possible on this line. My slim lines, man, they hit. They hit hard. They hit like a uh, they hit like a uh, baseball player with a nice wooden st and, and or, or steel bat. You know what I'm saying? They do their thing. They chop, man. Now it's time for detail work. I'm about to put my texture shears to use. And, then, and now what I'm doing is, if, if y'all remember what I said in the beginning, this is my, I, I went to that part where when I debunked with my two blade, this is where I said I want my separation from clipper to shear work. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's why I made that that initial um, guideline because I know that, okay, when when I get here, this is where I want my shears to play. That's why I left that heavy line like that. So basically, this goes into detailing, man. This is really, you know what I'm saying, putting the work in on that fade and just finishing that fade out 100% now.
Now I'm snatching up one of my two guards. Um, I'm using the Babylon's two guards to come with the FX3, dude. They fit on the uh, wall magic clip really good. Um, and I'm just open. This is an open two. Um, and this is just me polishing and just really finishing the fade, making sure it connects flawlessly. No hard lines or nothing like that. So this right here, man, this is the this is the icing on the cake, man. I'm pulling out that razor, finishing up that lineup, and just night getting it nice, crispy, and pristine, and um, just helping this lineup stay a little bit longer. You know what I'm saying? Making sure that he can he can get longevity out of, out of this haircut. You know what I'm saying? And when it grows back in, it looks great. That's what I'm here for. You know, that's what that's what I want to do. I want to make sure that you get the best bang for your buck. I want to make sure it lasts long and it looks good, and it looks good when it grows back as well. Not just when it walks walks out of the barbershop, but next time you walk in the barbershop, I want it to look as good as it did when you walked out.
after making sure I put some gotta be um, hair hold in his hair man this is the friend's product y'all mid drop fade comb over with a hard part um, on my dude Armando I appreciate y'all please like comment subscribe share I you see he's very happy man he'd appreciate it too I appreciate you guys thank y'all for the time this your boy Dion Big Draco and I'm out